MetaMask yep. to allow users to purchase and transfer Ethereum via PayPal. So they're linking up with PayPal now, and you can transfer Ethereum via PayPal with your MetaMask wallet. What are your thoughts on that, Hogan? Yeah, I think this is um, this is awfully suspicious. Somewhat, MetaMask came out announcing that they'd updated their privacy settings and that anyone transacting an Ethereum transaction, their IP address would be logged for that transaction. And now MetaMask is coming out saying that well, we're going to start collecting your IP information on your wallet address. And then now, oh yeah, now you can interact with Ethereum with your PayPal account. So it's like, okay, so they're going to tra start tracking the IP address of your wallet and then link that wallet address to your PayPal address, which is linked to your identity. And they're just trying to put names to wallet addresses out there and then compile a giant list, send that to the fucking IRS, and then you'll get a tax letter in the mail next year. That's right. what I think is going sure, on. But Connecting it to somewhere where you do have to KYC, that's an obvious connection there. First, I'm collecting your IP address, and now I'm linking you to a site where you have to KYC to use the site at all, which usually is linked to a bank account or a debit card in some fashion. So now not only do they have identity, location, but they also have bank information as well, and all yeah. of this being tied together through transactions.